My name's Lee Britton. I've worked on and off out here at the 99 steam train for two years now. Today is her final day of operation. The 99 steam train is the only live steam locomotive operating on a regular schedule in LA County. And this is her last scheduled day of operation. The 99 is a two foot gauge 440 American class locomotive. She's a replica of an 1860s locomotive. 99 steam train has a operating pressure of 200 uh, pounds per square inch and operates on a one half mile track out here at Magic Mountain. She's been in operation since 19. 73 and is probably one of the first rides out here on the park having one of the longest durations too. She has gone through a series of modifications, different paint jobs, a new boiler being placed in. She's fired on propane gas. Originally she was oil fired and has now been converted. <laughs> You fucker, why the hell did you tell me to shut the door? <laughs> Right there, Mr. O'Neill, not being aware that you were supposed to turn off the air valves, went up and removed the air hose between the main air tank and the steam drain, allowing a bunch of the air to release. Shall we say he has been frightened to death? This is probably one of the one of numerous incidences of dumb mistakes we've had out here, especially with that air hose. Normally what happens is we usually back up the train with the air hose connected and usually snap off the air lines. Audience, Mr. O'Neill just allowed all the air to bring out out of the air tank. Now the air brakes are trying to find it. I forgot to turn that off too. I know, you forgot to turn everything off. Fuel 99 has been run by so many people, it's hard to say how many anymore. They've been run by good people, by bad people. But I'll say most of the good people have one thing in common, and that's an extreme love for the strain. It's been taken care of and cared for, the grass polished, the oil, and kept a pretty good running shape. As you can see, we even have one of the old mechanics out here, Mr. Kimura. He's probably one of the greatest lovers of the train of all time. Come on, Ron, get up here. Ron, I'm not even sure when you started out here. He started ages ago. Started out here with the train. Working out here for a long time. He's now mechanicing this thing, and he's going to be putting her up tomorrow. We're just sort of running her for the last days now. Well, I think, to say anything more, I think I'm going to let Ron say a little bit of what he has to say about 99. Thank you, Lee. I'm Ron, and uh, I've worked on this train now. It shall be five years, four months, and two weeks. I've devoted a lot of my own time, a lot of effort, and a lot of hard work put into this engine by a lot of people. I am what you might say a third generation crew. Lee, I was consider possibly a fifth or sixth generation and we strive to maintain a good image here professional and a good attitude and Lee has maintained that and it seems very unfortunate that the park has decided to rid itself of such a beautiful item there are many people interested in steam locomotives it has character it has something to offer everyone it is part of history uh, some of the modifications that we have done on the engine. First, you might want to consider our cab. 
Originally, Crown built the engine so that you would sit on the tender and operate the locomotive reaching into the cab. But now, since we have redesigned it, we are able to sit inside the cab. And inside, we have also altered a lot of the plumbing. We have changed the throttling system. We have increased efficiency of the engine in a number of ways. One is in the throttle itself. Also, with our new plumbing system, that also will increase the efficiency of the engine. So as far as our entire engine, you'll note that it has all the working mechanisms as a genuine full-size engine, all of our gearing, all of the parts, all of the oiling points, is just the same as standard engines. Let's go, Ron. I've been working out here about six weeks. First time I was, no, it was about the third time I was ever closing the train. And I was closing it one night and I had a flame out. Because the battery had gone, well, all the flame equipment had gone out. And I flamed out right here. So I decided instead of taking the train around, I'd back it up and park it. So, okay, now, I backed it up. And as I went across the switch back there, the pony trucks. Was... Okay, no. The time before I claimed out, you came out here at night. You see, the next time that happened, I backed across the switch. The pony trucks derailed. The whole train was derailed out. And I remember Armstrong comes out here. We have mechanic one. Everybody on her is out here, and we're working really hard to get this pony truck back on. So when we're about halfway through getting this pony truck on, the safety pops, mechanic one and the two other mechanics out there, Armstrong, um, Paul Oman, all scream, they leap back from the train, he gets completely popping to blow up, and I'm sitting there going, hold on, hold on, what's happening? I don't know, I'm not sure. Changed on. I've been out since I've been out here. Nothing's changed. They face with the trolling wood a little bit, but that's been about it. Well, when I was here, a lot of this wasn't here. Trolling wood was not here. 